This video from r slash TikTok cringe, it's on a thread called taxes need to be higher and just off the bat by that label by itself, I agree 100% if you're talking about wealthy people because they have more money so they should be taxed more. I know, disgusting piece of shit, leftist garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to dislike and click away if you're a goddamn sycophant towards people who don't give a shit about you. All right, let's watch the video. Let's see what's going on. Come with me to a billionaire tech CEO's wedding in the middle of Egypt. Who knew you could rent out the pyramids and the Sphinx for your own wedding? I was there with Lance Bass, Robin Thicke, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. You rented out like historical sites and artifacts or whatever the fuck for a, uh, an occasion of traditionalism and you have the, the means to do that wow that's like fuck you money that's and by fuck you money it means clearly fuck you <laughs> but then again what's the point of having fuck you money if you never say fuck you i can do whatever i want i can own anything i want also robin thick everybody get up i like to get with girls who can't say no they know they want it even though they say no that guy all right. Saying Lindsey Sterling, that amazing violinist. It was the craziest thing ever. Day one after a long flight into Cairo, we were all told to be at Mohammed Ali Palace in Manyal. Most of us had never even been to Egypt, but it was also crazy because the bride and the groom weren't even there yet. They got stuck on safari in South Africa and they got there at about 2 a.m. It was the craziest thing ever. They Dude, don't you hate that? Before you head over to your $100 million wedding, like you're just stuck on a safari. I hate that, man. Don't you just hate that? when you just got a shit ton of money and you're just too busy doing all sorts of unbelievably awesome shit that no one else can do. And you're just, you're just late to your own $100 million wedding. Don't you just hate that? Dude, Robin Thicke is there. Dude, we own Amy Sterling or Lindsay Sterling. I don't know why I said Amy. It's a generic white girl name. Look at the way she kicks in violins. I bought that bitch. She's part of, I, I, I added her to my harem collection, my Pokemon harem collection. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! They had light up dancers. There was gifts everywhere. I actually got a lot of cute gifts for Xena. The food was amazing. The drinks were amazing. Day two, the pyramids and the Sphinx were shut down. And we got to roam around the pyramids, go into the tombs, and go see the Sphinx without any other tourists around. And if that wasn't crazy enough, then we all got back into our chauffeured cabs, taken to a different hotel to change clothes, and then go to a Met Gala event at the Grand Egyptian Museum, which isn't even open to the public yet. It's the largest museum on planet Earth, and we had the whole thing to ourselves. What are you, just jealous that you don't live the life? of these awesome people. Here, let me jerk them off real quick. Look at you over there, you fucking sad, poor, pathetic loser, okay? Money is the, that's the determining factor in how awesome you are, okay? Clearly, this guy is superior to everyone. He clearly works very hard all the time, seeing as he spends his entire life vacationing. He's clearly superior. He clearly deserves all this shit. Who is this guy? Naveen Jain, Jain's billionaire son. So he's the son of a billionaire. This guy is, is clearly superior. He wouldn't be in this position if he wasn't just better than everyone. So he deserves to curate the entire world based on his passive whim. You're all just jealous and angry. Raising taxes? That's what a, a, a poor lazy loser would say who works a nine to five job, who actually works, but gets paid scraps in exchange for their time. That's what a loser would say. Wow. Back to back, extravagant, exorbitant. Is he going to have enough money for his second wedding? After he gets divorced and his wife takes his shit. That would be, that's really funny. I think that's fucking hilarious. That's like the one instance in which like the laws that favor women in court. I'm sort of saying, all right, that's funny. Get your bag, lady. There were violinists hanging by strings. There was art. It was completely, completely crazy with an amazing dinner and awesome guests. Day three was all about the wedding. We were all told to dress black tie extra. Oh, I forgot. Before the wedding, we were all sent a document with designs for outfits. It was a lot of packing. Now, yesterday when we were at the pyramids, I saw this whole building basically being built in the desert. So I took a little video of it. I didn't really know what it was for. And wouldn't you know, the wedding venue. And I thought this was the craziest thing ever, but it was only venue number one of four for the night. So we showed up and there was this whole circular room just of mirrors so everyone could take photos. Lindsay Sterling was playing violin, so that was super cool. <laughs> there she is again. I knew she was part of the harem. 
Dude, we bought her. We took away her passport. She's stuck here forever. Oh, I just want to uh, see something. As of 2022, 712 million people globally were living in extreme poverty. Okay. I, I just wanted you to uh, to know that statistic real quick. Well, let's let's resume the video. Cool. And then we were told to walk up these amazing stairs onto the circular platform as the sun set over the two pyramids and the Sphinx as Erica and Anker got married. And then we went to venue number. And then uh, a 747 crashed into the venue and killed every single person who was there. It was tragic. It was terrible. See, he, the, the, on, the, the, the billionaire CEO son who's clearly worked very hard for all this money, you know, he, he paid the, uh, the pilots lots of money and then they spent it all on hookers and blow. And then they were partying in the air and somebody actually spilled Coke onto the autopilot and then the, the autopilot got high and then it, it careened and killed everyone here. So it was tragic. What are they gonna, what, what are we gonna do with all that money? Redistribute it to people who are actually working? No, that's communism bullshit. Get out of here, you're disgusting for even presuming that. If you have no money, you are inferior. You are lazy and stupid. That's how it works because I'm a person, I'm a human and that make that my the hierarchy, my feelings. Two for after wedding reception drinks. And that's when we looked at the pyramids and saw that they actually started lighting up. Then we were told it was now time for dinner. And we walked down this whole other pathway to venue number three, which is where we sat for dinner. And in the center of the dinner tables, Lindsey Sterling came out and gave a killer performance. Again, <laughs> Lindsey, you are Lindsey. You're not, you're not escaping. You're here forever. These pyramids are your apartments now. Get back in your box, whore. And when, when, I, when, I, when I blow this whistle, you're gonna take that violin and you're gonna fucking dance for us, you goddamn piece of shit. And then after dinner, we went to venue number four, which was the party. Robin Thicke came on as he gave an amazing surprise performance. Griffin DJed, fireworks were going off. And then right at the end, I became the newest member of NSYNC when I got up on stage and started singing Bye 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 with Lance Bass. Those are the four days of Anker and Erica's wedding. Literally will go down as one of the most insane things of my entire life. I have no idea what this wedding costs. If you have any guests, let me know in the comments. And thanks for coming along. Alrighty, cool. That occupies your mind. Feel the cringe together. Alrighty. So let's see what other people have to say about this in the comments. The title should be We Bought Lindsay Sterling for the Weekend. You mean for a lifetime. Yeah, she's she's in bondage now. When she's not playing on her violin, she's actually um just locked up in a box, like one of those puppet things, right? Like a ventriloquist does when he carries him around on his luggage. It, it saves money. Right, because clearly these guys need to save money as they board her onto the plane, right? It's easier to put her into a, a luggage than it is to a buy her a plane ticket. This guy is Naveen Jane billionaire's son. Calling him a Texio is true, but let's be real, this is his daddy's money. It's easy to make infant money when you start with infinite money. This man was literally called the most well-connected 21-year-old in the world. His company relies on Wells Fargo accepting a ton of risk. What normal 20-something can make a major US bank do that? A man who's clearly superior. This guy works very hard. This guy is the pinnacle of humanity. And all these people are just jealous and poor and stupid. That's why they're angry, right? Because that's, that's how... Welcome to life, friends. Everything happens for a reason, and the reason is normally just mindless bullshit. Imagine spending your life saving for a trip to Egypt, and on the day you plan to visit the pyramid, it's actually closed because some billionaire want to visit and don't want to interact with poor people. Yeah, because poor people are inferior. They're disgusting, right? Ranking, ranking people. This is, these, these comments are funny. It's another eat the rich brick to throw into the pile. That is getting bigger and bigger. The brick pile is now larger than all the pyramids. Now, literally, there is greater wealth inequality now than there was when the pyramids were built. I mean, the fact that there's more of an accessibility to this type of wealth in the modern day. Back then, it was, there were still slaves back then, but I guess now your modern day version of a slave is either of those billion, you know, millions of people who are impoverished or just your average person working a job and giving away lots of hours and still not having enough to be able to just meet a lot of basic needs. It's disgusting. That's why I'd always say it's like, it's, it's the more compassionate you are, which compassion is very necessary. It's just like, you're gonna feel pain. And what good does that service you? It kind of gets to a point where it's like, dude, I gotta, I gotta watch for my own. Like we can acknowledge how disgusting and shitty all these humans are and the things that we do to deprive each other so that we can benefit ourselves at the expense of everyone around. But it's like, the more you get into that, the more you're gonna realize that all these things are built in certain ways to reinforce that, to maintain it, so that these people are allowed to be and do whatever the fuck they want. And it's very unfortunate. Look at this, important doubt 6434. Three, six, they do live in the same reality, now, let's not forget. Dude, bring them to the guillotines. Imagine being in a position to really make a positive change in the world and acting like that. It's utterly revolting. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty terrible. The fact that they had Robin Thicke and Mr. Wonderful at their wedding tells me how horrible they are more than anything else in this video. <laughs>
You're an Get the out of here. Everybody get up. Yeah. Um, not only are there all sorts of these incredibly ultra wealthy parasites who haven't actually earned their wealth, they just like, you know, cosmic circumstance that benefited them. And all of these measures are put in place to sort of prop these people up. So more, the more money you make, the more money you're going to make. There's not just that, but you also have the losers. I'm glad we didn't come across any of the losers in this, this comment section. There's also losers that are there almost like literally just to prop up these, these people in their lives. Right, it's as if that gives them a sense of meaning. So I have a part-time job. I use that to facilitate all this other stuff so I can make my own money and then get the fuck out of this goddamn sewage pit of a country. Um, and it's like, at a lot of these jobs, like, this, I call them slaves, right? It's not just the fact that you're working a part-time job that makes you a slave. It's if, it's if you manifest a mindset that's only there solely to benefit the people who are enslaving you. There are people who, like, legitimately built an identity around this type of work. In my case, it's UPS, right? Moving boxes from trucks onto other trucks and shit. And there are people who actually place pride in that shit. Oh, this cardboard box needs to go here. Oh, I, we need to scan this one. It's very important that we do our work and everything goes wherever. It's like, dude, you're working harder for what? for nothing, so that you can bet even more passively benefit people who don't give a fuck about you, who are there to siphon your life from you, who are there to treat you as if you were nothing but dirt, and here you are giving your life away on their behalf. A lot of people have to do it because out of necessity, because we it's a shitty universe, shitty world that humans built. You need to make money in order to you know afford value, otherwise you are gonna be treated like dirt. That's one thing, but to reinforce that and to sort of like conform to this, because I guess the idea of, you know, wealthy people kind of just created this this landscape to in, to indoctrinate people into these, these values. So they can be passively benefited at the expense of these slaves that give them their life. These people who are working and getting nothing for it, most of them work harder than the people who they're making the money for. So yeah, it's a um, dog-eat-dog -dog world. Humans have a capacity for not being like this, but why would you uh, not be like that if you are benefited by it? in a world that was built to facilitate this type of thing. So uh, yeah, yeah, this video is now in your brain and I'm sorry for showing this to you, but understand how things work. Understand the species. It's not gonna get any better than this. I'm sorry. So secure your own well-being. I'm not just gonna leave you on, leave you with that. <laughs> things can be better, but you're gonna have to make it better for yourself. I'm sorry. Humans, humans aren't gonna be better. The state of humanity is not gonna improve. All you can do is just improve your own circumstances. That's what I meant to say. All right, thank you.